Being a new parent is an exciting time, but what if your baby is born with a lump or a bump in the eyebrow, head, or the neck region, or if one develops after birth? When is it serious? Dr. Troy Reyna of Children's Hospital of Orange County discusses the diagnosis and what treatments are recommended. Lumps and bumps are probably one of the more common things that we see as pediatric surgeons because every parent anticipates and expects their child to have 10 fingers, 10 toes, and not be otherwise perfect. And if there's anything that differs from the norm, like a bump or a lump that arises in the head and neck region, uh, a cyst on the eyebrow, a bump coming off the, uh, the shoulder, they're going to be concerned. And of course, parents always think the worst, and that is, is this cancer? Is this something severe? Lumps and bumps can occur anywhere. Anywhere under the skin, they can be things as simple as an epidermal inclusion cyst. They can be, uh, the more common ones we see are in the head and neck region. They can be lymph nodes. They can be cysts at the lateral aspect of the eyebrow. Midline lumps in the neck tend to be what's known as thyroglossal duct cysts, which are formations of embryonic origin. Some lumps and bumps, such as the congenital eyebrow cysts, will be there as soon as the baby's born and will get progressively larger. These uh, tend to draw the parents' attention a little more because they're obvious and they are probably referred to as fairly early on within the first couple weeks to months of life. We examine the patient, we explain to the parent our best guess as to what it is. The eyebrow cysts are usually epidermal inclusion cysts. They're prone to infection. They do tend to grow over time and the earlier you operate on them while they're small, the smaller the incision, and the less likely that the scar is gonna be fairly obvious. So most of the lumps and bumps on the eyebrow region, head and neck, will probably operate by the t on the child by the time they're about three months old. Many of these lumps and bumps can just be watched. I would say we kind of leave it to the uh, parent's discretion. If there is something that they have a certain degree of angst over, and would like to have it removed, we certainly uh, appeal to their nature and, and get it scheduled in a judicious time period. If they are uh, relieved that, or if they're relieved by my diagnosis that no, it's not cancer, it's nothing serious, it's a benign process, and they would like to watch and wait, or their child is sufficiently young that they think they're too young for anesthesia, and there's no medical urgent medical indication that we can watch and wait with them and reassess them. If the lump is of a, a category that I feel uncomfortable with it, then I will urge and stress to them that surgery is of a little more urgent nature. In the head and neck region, we also see a lot of hemangiomas, which are vascular tumors. Hemangiomas have a significant growth rate within the first year or two of life, and after age two, they will actually involute as a child gets older, they won't keep up with the same growth pace as a child and will actually seem to shrink down. All lumps and bumps underneath the skin are nothing but a bump, but what actually makes up that bump, that's where the variety comes in. Thyroglossal duct cyst, epidermal inclusion cyst, tumors, hemangiomas, the variety is, is endless. Dr. Reyna gives his best advice for parents. I think if a parent sees a lump and bump on their child, and they're in any, any way, shape, or form worried or curious about what it is, they should seek a consultation with a pediatric surgeon and we can either alleviate their worries as to whether it's anything bad or alleviate their worries as to what's involved in removing it.